Hi Aquarius, this is Sha and this is your mid-month reading for May 2021. And I hope you're all well. Thank you very much for your likes and shares and I hope you've watched your monthly as they were quite extensive and long. So um, I hope you don't find them too long. I think it's also nice that you have something a little bit uh, more uh, information and you can always stop and come back to it and see whether this reading in mid-month um, resonates with you take from it what you wish you can either take each card as each week or you can take the first two cards as the third week and the same with the last two cards I've been using totally new decks. Um, not only, I think you've seen this one. That's the Psy, the Tarot of the Psy, and then we've got the Radiant Sun Oracle deck, and we've got two other Oracle decks, and those are the Healing of the Angels, and also the Journey or Oracle. And I love the Journey Oracle, especially. I think they're so beautiful. They're modern, and I just love the art on them. And these are really nice as well because it's an oracle but you've got a keyword here plus the sign of moon that's the suit because there's seven suits in this one um, this that is of um, uh, that sign is the sign of um, Virgo so this is the moon in Virgo this is the um, uh, let me have a look because I'm still learning this and this is Jupiter this is the sign for Jupiter in Leo and then we've got the Sun in Taurus um, and so on you've got also the moon in Gemini so um, perhaps those are the input uh, profound uh, people around you and let's see whether the Oracle cards um, resonate with the tarot cards we've also got uh, um, Aquarius this is that sign is Neptune Neptune or no I think that's Venus that is Venus let me have a look Mercury Mercury in Aquarius okay and we are going into Mercury retrograde so I hope you find this interesting uh, this way um, I just I'm always uh, trying to look to expand my knowledge uh, I don't like to do courses but I do read up on things and I do dabble in uh, astrology uh, I don't make I do make charts but that takes me ages and ages so I hope you enjoyed this uh, reading as well of course so you come in with the overall energy and that's the maker the earth that's the ace of earth the ace of pentacles so it could be that you could be coming into money it could be uh, could be a new beginning with a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and also um, it could mean you could have a new job or something that's tangible durable uh, for long term like there could be a move uh, moving to a house um, expansion definitely something for long term then the overall energy from the little deck um, the um, Sun Oracle deck um, we have originality so perhaps you're going back to the uh, something original or to the original plan this um, originality means uh, the basics perhaps you might be going back to basics like this is the basic this is just the beginning the ace of Pentacles you might be starting up again um, with this uh, I, with this card I also see uh, a brilliant idea coming into um, your mind it could also be in your dreams you might be planning things um, going back to basics reviewing things um, the subconscious there could be a subconscious idea or a plan that you've been uh, planning planning about and thinking about coming to the forefront 
um, it could be something about mechanical machinery but um, this al this machine also uh, symbolizes to me um, your churning you're churning things round perhaps you're overthinking at the moment okay so um, that's the overall energy you've got to come in with the warrior of 10 the warrior of 10 is the 10 of wands so you might have had um, you might have had a very difficult heavy time of late um, see that casts shadows and I don't like that I like the light to come in literally and figuratively okay so I'll just have to move that around sorry about that my darlings um, and um, with the um, um, so you're going back to basics going back to the start um, yes I think you are I think you've made a decision as well um, that's why something is coming to an end because 10 is an ending and um, you are going to spread your wings but you're resting uh, at this moment um, if you look at the art of this it's like somebody is bending over this is the arms and the arms are intertwined with the uh, the two cliffs and everybody is walking over his back um, uh, across his arms he's making a pathway so perhaps you are making a pathway uh, perhaps uh, you uh, uh, are um, are bridging gaps or you have you've ha you have been bridging gaps um, because I'm hearing also um, filling uh, one hole from the other it's like if you are money you you'll get you're receiving money but it goes out to uh, pay and something else um, taking from one thing shifting borrowing it's like you've got different pots of money and you're taking a little bit from this to pay that and when uh, that uh, when money comes in again for that then you put it back in that pot it, I don't know it's it, it might sound uh, crazy um, but that is what I'm seeing some somebody doing so you're not actually uh, balancing your money properly or something um, that you have to keep um, bridging over um, so that period is coming to an end because you've got the the um, the ace of earth so if it is with regards to money then uh, there will be a new job or there could be a promotion because every ace um, is success and it is used in the traditional tarot it's a hand the divine of the hand the divine hand is offering you something so there is a s something new beginning definitely something is coming to an end where there is an ending there is a new beginning but like I said um, you might have had to take care of a lot of people and nobody was pulling their weight and now um, you have perhaps decided right I'm going to start delegating together we stand strong and everybody has to pull um, pull in and help out because also the arms if you look at it you just let your imagination go when you read tar a tarot as well but it's like a big cloak that you have encircled and here as well that you have encircled everybody and taken them under your wings but you can't you can't do that all the time because you get tired so it has to come from both sides now you've got acquisition acquisition for me means acquiring um, getting something this card represents the uh, richness uh, the riches of life you like to enjoy the riches of life perhaps jewelry perhaps there's something that you want already for a long time like a new watch or a new ring or a new dress and you enjoy the riches but that is acquisition acquisition means acquiring 
requiring something, taking action and doing it. Like I said, there might be an idea brewing and it's coming to life and it will bring you riches. So yes, money is definitely coming to you. The, the tough times will be over because you've got also the Ace of Pentacles. Perhaps you might be starting a hobby as a career. Boom. And you might be partnering up. After all, this is a couple and also number two. So there will be balance. And when you share finances, it will be also much easier uh, life and that you will be richer. So acquire that status if you can by partnering up. Then we have the Dancer Princess and that is the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is mainly Pisces. There could be a prominent Pisces around you. and uh, or But don't forget Cancer or Scorpio either. And you have um, uh, Leo, like I said, Leo in... Uh, forgot the um, I think that was Jupiter wasn't it yes Jupiter that is Leo in Jupiter so um, there could be a prominent Leo around you a Taurus uh, like I said Virgo uh, Scorpio and Gemini okay um, perhaps uh, the moon or the Sun there could be uh, the Sun 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 sign that could be in coming up in Gemini as we are going into the sun sign of Gemini this could be at a full moon or um, at a new moon so those are prominent times you've got two moons here could be a new moon could be um, a full moon okay so that's quite prominent you could be getting messages um, from a child or about a child around these times um, that is at the cusp on the 20th to the 21st um, so um, that will bring you back in, in balance it will be good news because you are the Sun is shining on you and this uh, is publicity uh, publicity means that, uh, also that you've got recognition success is yours you might be putting something out into the web or you might be putting something out uh, publicly like writing a book and you're getting it published so um, be careful with the moon signs and remember uh, Mercury is coming in at the end of May that is the 29th of May depending on which uh, sphere you're in um, so just around the 29th Mercury will go to into retrograde until uh, uh, the end of June I think I'm not quite sure but that is what I'm hearing you've got number five that means you're halfway but you're not quite in balance yet but you are moving up to the power of eight eight is the house of money the house of uh, standing in your strength you are very very strong you've also got nine so you are moving up eight nine ten boom there you go and actually the page is eleven if you count it in that sense the the page of cups um, could also be that you might be receiving news intuitively at the new moon full moon or on the cusp from uh, Taurus to Gemini the Sun sign okay um, and after all this is the Sun sign Taurus Sun in Taurus so there could be news coming in Taurus okay you are in your power this is beautiful walk through the archway there is a new beginning the Sun will shine once you are on the other side of the archway and look she's dreaming about it she's dreaming about the Sun that's going to rise you've got the nine of warriors you already had the ten of warriors so you're moving away from difficult times but perhaps in the beginning of the fourth week um, you might be just taking time out 
um, don't give up in the third in the last week with the nine and the ten of warriors the ones don't give up because you are at the end okay you're so near uh, and sometimes you're so near but it seems so far don't worry start delegating and uh, spread your wings open up open up it's also the cross that I see of the angel that with the wings there will be a big splash okay um, spread your wings don't shut your heart chakra or your solar plex open them up also your mind to new ideas bring the new ideas out into the real world and I think you are going to um, let the world know what your brilliant new idea is here we've got this maker six that's the six of pentacles so if you are fortunate you'll be giving most probably a gift or a helping hand or a listening ear uh, to the less fortunate if you're the one that's less fortunate you could be receiving help or listening ear or a gift from somebody that's more fortunate it's the key word is generosity and this is the guardian you might be a guardian like I've been telling you you've enwrapped everybody and and kept them under your wings now it's time to let go and release Aquarius and receive back you have to receive back that is what you can see from the six of pentacles as well you've given so much now it's your time to receive empathy empathy yes empathy what does empathy mean for you you are empath empathic you might be like I said more sensitive intuitive um, with uh, Scorpio because uh, and Pisces here uh, you could be more sensitive uh, higher highly sensitive emotionally or intuitively and also with the star and the moon that she's looking at so that speaks um, lots of stories we've got a saying in um, sections of a book or a chapter I think that's what you it's it's you can write chapters about it it says enough 12 becomes a 3 which means uh, uh, creativity be more empathic and look at the listening ear um, with the six of cups listening ear or a gift like a little diamond a bird this could be news good news about money good news about uh, and also giving so these cards do interact lovely and really um, gives us a full story this could be a Gemini you could be it could be in Gemini uh, as we are going from Taurus into Gemini so you will be heard you will get the recognition publicly and um, uh, you are definitely in your power also your money house and your power house money uh, money house means that money is coming to you perhaps an inheritance now the next card that we have is from the um, healing angels and that's balance and release yes like I said spread your wings let go to let the new come in um, wow how magic is that you have to um, let go in order to um, receive you have to make room it's like um, you might be going on to a new journey with these new beginnings um, perhaps you're planning a holiday a short break uh, to rejuvenate after the long lockdown it can be as simple as that to find balance in this chakra you need to release the past and the strings of energy attached to those things that no longer serve you maybe you have outgrown a belief system or found a new way of dealing with stress whether it is you need to whether it is you need to let go of the old so that the new energy has a chance to make changes in your life for the better imagine that every relationship job concern worry or 
and possession you have a string of your energy still attached to it look at it this little bead he's opening his beak to let it go in other words your energy is still going out to the source because you have not let it go when you dwell on the past the energy leaves you and goes to the thing you left behind and so you are still giving it some of your energy so there you go let, with these endings the nines and the tens let go so that new energy uh, can come in and give don't give anything negative energy otherwise you will be carrying a dead horse on your back you need to ride that horse boom there you go that's the message now we also have independence so this could be that you were um, this could be also in the other scenario that you could be you could have been dependent on somebody else um, and now you're coming out and getting independent for yourself and you're getting recognized you're getting you're focusing on what you want but this could also be um, acquiring a partner that um, balance that um, acquiring a partner so that you do have uh, the balance of two and that you stand st together stronger you've got the two people here under the wings as well um, perhaps you might want to start a family and you that does uh, acquire independence independence also means um, independence within a relationship or a partnership to find the balance and that nobody um, that nobody you know um, that you're equal that you have that balance within that relationship that you don't feel that you stand alone it's that's the and um, that's how you keep a partnership or a relationship fresh by doing your own thing they are doing their thing and then doing it together and that is uh, originality that is how uh, a partnership should be independence what this card says no more standing in the shadows cowering from light what this card means you are mighty and powerful you are ready to assert your independence just like I said walking through the archway number eight standing in your power right stand proud and tall in the bright light of day casting all shadows of doubt aside your fears are natural but you will subvert them unearth your strongest self and shine you will be a beacon of strength and individuality to others and will inspire them to do the same like I said you could be starting a family or be a leader within the partnership expansion uh, because we do have the 10 here and 10s also mean expansion but it seems to me that you <coughs> have been the leader of a group or uh, you are the one that's ca carried the family and took people under your wings with these two cards so yes you have to let go start delegating create rest uh, create a balance within your life even if you love uh, people you know they have to take care of themselves and it's also uh, time for you to receive love and care and nurturing as well it and that and that's how you keep balance is give and take isn't it it's up and down through life okay I hope you've enjoyed this uh, reading take care and please like and share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet thank you ciao ciao